What lessons can we learn from what recently happened in Ivory Coast? Well, there are many lessons that can be learned, but I think the main one is that uh, the international community was not fully prepared uh, for the consequences of promoting an electoral process in Ivory Coast. The conflict was not resolved at the time of elections. Uh, the parties were armed. Uh, they actually did not respect this provision of the peace agreement to dissolve the elections. And many other, other provisions of the peace agreement were not implemented. And so unsurprisingly, uh, the results of the elections were contested uh, by the common president, Laurent Gbagbo. Uh, and neither the UN, the Eastern in the country, nor the international community as a whole, and more specifically ECOWAS, the West African uh, organization, were really prepared to deal with violence. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of violence happened, a lot of massive human rights violations, and there was no military preparedness for this. Also, there was really a lack of political planning. Uh, the scenarios uh, were quite obvious uh, before the elections, but there was a lot of wishful thinking that the president you know, would win the elections and that things would be on track, not create any incident. So, again, uh, I think the immediate lesson learned is uh, try to do more political work to prepare. And in particular, uh, think about what happens to the losers. Is there room for them? Can they have access to their assets, their money, their property? Do they have a social status uh, when they lose the elections? Can they remain leaders of the opposition? And so on. And in many countries in Africa, you have a winners take all mentality and no room for losers. So it's, I think, very important for uh, the international community to focus on the status of the opposition and create the before the election.